In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed an online training evaluation into your Adobe Captivate project. Uh, what I use to do this is, you know, obviously normally if I had my own learning management system at my disposal, I could capture all the employee data that I needed right from the learning management system. But because there are millions of dollars sometimes, um, you know, or certainly expensive at the very least, I do this through Google Drive. Specifically, I do it with Google Forms. Now, if you have a Drive account, and you do, if you basically have a Gmail account, uh, you can go to Google Drive at drive.google.com and click on New. And, of course, there's the standard options for new folders and new uploads and so forth and docs, sheets, and slides. But if you click the More option, you can choose Google Forms and create your own form, similar to what you might find with SurveyMonkey or another type of uh, survey tool. Now, I've already gone ahead and created an online evaluation form. I won't bore you with the uh, the details of that, but it's pretty uh, pretty intuitive and pretty straightforward. So here's my online training evaluation, and I've got, you know, sort of a rating between one and five for each of the questions that I'm asking, you know, like, for example, my objectives for taking this online course were met, and I would recommend this online course to others, you know. Uh, these are level one evaluations. In other words, how your adult learner feels about the training. So this is what we're evaluating, how they feel about the training. Did they like the training? Did they like the voice? Did they like the graphics? Did they like, you know, and so on. The, this is the first level of evaluation when you're looking at uh, evaluating yourself as an instructional designer. Now, if I click on send form, I can capture a link to this particular course. So I'm just going to right click or I can press control C to copy that and then I can now use that in my e-learning course. So let's just minimize this window here and return to a course that I'm currently working on. Now I, if I click the, uh, and this is of course Adobe Captivate, if I uh, click on my interactions drop down icon I can go to learning interactions and from there I can find uh, the learning interaction for embedding a web page. I'll just wait for my computer to catch up with me for a moment here. There we are. So the interactions are there and it's uh, down near the bottom if I remember correctly. Yeah, so it's this web object interaction. We're going to select that and we're going to click the insert button. And that's going to put it on this page right here. You'll see this uh, configure interaction. We, of course, can now paste control V that form into here. Let's just preview that and make sure it works. Yep, there it is. Now, of course, we can resize this. Uh, this web object to suit your e-learning design here. We obviously don't want it to cover up anything that's already on the screen. And, uh, and of course, we can double click this and we can say auto load. We can allow for scrolling, which I would recommend. Maybe a loading animation in case it does take a little bit longer. Uh, you could have it display in a new browser window, which might give you greater flexibility. But let's try it within the course itself. And I'm just going to click on OK. One of the things you got to make sure of is make sure that this displays for the rest of the slide, because it's only for a second or two here. And then what we'll do is we will... Uh, we'll do this in browser using the HTML5 option. And we'll just give this a moment to prepare it for viewing. And the great part about this is that um, 
normally when you put um, an Adobe Captivate project published to a web space, you can't use uh, obviously e-learning interactions because that stuff is dependent on you having a learning management system. In this case here, uh, you could publish this just as uh, a web page essentially and uh, from there you could uh, capture this data just by routing people to the Google Docs form and then they would of course fill it out based on how you did. So let's see here, online training evaluation and of course I can scroll this up and down. I have full control over that and uh, once I finished uh, answering all these questions and putting my additional comments I can click submit. Oh, I, I made it mandatory that you have to answer. So let's just say agree, 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 somewhere in the middle. Maybe a ne neither agree nor disagree, neither agree, neither uh, so on and so forth. So, and maybe add some comments just so we can, you know, what a wonderful course you've designed. Lots of exclamation marks. So now I'll hit submit and it says your response has been recorded or you could put some message there to click next to continue and of course the user could then proceed with the rest of your Adobe eLearning project. Now when you go back to your Google Drive you will now have a an additional document to your training evaluation. It will be a results document and that you can load this up and take a look and you can see there's the entry where I've put all that stuff. So you've captured all this da data. Now this is a level one evaluation uh, which totally would work fine but you could also do a level two evaluation the same way if of course you're willing to mark each of those quizzes by hand because of course you would have the answers here uh, you know maybe you could also include a field for the user to input their name as well so you'd see the person's name and what they answer to all of these questions uh, it, obviously you could even do essays and things like that so this would all come to you to your Gmail account to your Google Drive account and um, and that should work perfectly fine Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, uh, please, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you find this video particularly useful, please give me a thumbs up.